I think the town's name is literally Hickville, Hicksville, New York, and that's where we are right now at Video Game Trading Post. I've heard great things about this place. There are three locations, and I'm going to hit up one of them. I'm going to hit up this one here in uh, in Hicksville, Hickville, Hicksville, something like that. I've heard they have an awesome selection of, uh, of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and everything else too. A few imports maybe, and I'm looking for a few NES games, so we'll see if we can find them in here. The very first thing I see, stacks of NES games and good games too. Look at this Jeremite up here. With the converter, only 25 bucks. I'm buying that before I get out of here. Nice selection, nice collection. Some great games that you see immediately. First thing you see, you see Wayne's World over here. I'm gonna ask him about that one too. It's not gonna be cheap, but I might be able to find one. Hills Far, a little bit harder to find. Curious on the Swamp Thing. Not a great game. But it's one I wouldn't mind having again. Oh my goodness, this place is my new favorite store. Because you know what they got? There it is. Princess Tomato in the Sound Kingdom. What game is 400 bucks with a manual? What game would cost $400 with a manual? Ah, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. I guess that helps. I guess that makes sense. Got Blades of Steel, the red cart variant. That's right, the red label variant. There's some great stuff here. Stack up, that's a game you don't see too often anymore. I just asked in 220, 220 only. You have a complete in box swamp thing? No, 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 I'm saying there's more complete in box. Oh, you have the more complete. Oh, yeah. I barely even made I still haven't even stepped more feet into the store yet. There's so much more to see here. I'll, I'll, I'll swing around. I'll, I'll check out the complete in box stuff right quick. Hey, and Conan. All right. Oh, Lolo 3. That's a good one, too. They have all kinds of great games here. And good prices, too. All right, because we're right next door. Let's look at the Super Nintendo games. How do you feel about food? How do I feel about food? Is that what you asked me? Yeah, I love it. Sure. I mean, you're gonna be here for a while too. <laughs> I was gonna say, you calling me fat? I mean, you're right, but still, I mean, I'm just trying to. <laughs> oh, Brain Lord's a good one too. I do love me some Brain Lord. Oh, we got the, the Mario Preschool Fun. <laughs> what is this? It's hard to tell. Got some Nintendo Powers here too. If you're looking for a complete Nintendo Power set, oh, here's a good one. Look at this one. Nice. Got the Sega Genesis games back here too. Hmm. I'm not sure. They have Malphabetical too, that's good news. I don't see Haunting, my favorite Haunting. I see some other great games though. Oh, got some Master System games down here too. Fun to see what Master System games might be on here. All right. Double Dragon's pretty common for the Master System, but it's still one of the better ones. It started to be not uncommon to see DVDs here, including all these wrestling ones. It's like the Rise and Fall of WCW on DVD. It's kind of fun to see. These are always fun. They usually do a good job on little documentary type stuff. Then around the corner, all the loose games. Find some loose green dog, if you will. No prices on them. I don't think it's the one that everyone talks about. I think it's a different Batman game. There's a Batman game for the Game Gear that's people love, love, love it. Oh, Super Space Invaders for Game Gear. That's kind of cool to see. Hail Spin for Game Gear. Grab that. Dynamite Heady, what else we got? Maybe. And then even more loose games back here too. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah. There's a Toki. And alas, more loose Sega Genesis <laughs> games over here as well, which is fine by me. I do love me some Sega Genesis. In the midst of the uh, DVDs and stuff, you have some random Atari games in the box. Kind of fun to see. Here's a popular favorite, Kaboom. Played a lot of this growing up, that's for sure. A whole bunch of Super Nintendo, and I'm looking for nothing in particular. However, if I see it, I'll grab it. I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> but there's uh, plenty of selection to choose from here. These are you know, these are just kind of your fun to have. Oh, here's a, here's a decent one here. Look at this one. The, uh, the Acme Animation Factory, it's interesting. Way in the back corner. Xbox 360, but then up top. Gotta look up top, man. No, you're not gonna find a Nintendo Action Set, Sega CD, Sega Saturn. Sure. Got the Wii games over here, too. Big old shelf full of them. I'm cool with that. I do love me some Wii. Way up top. We got the Sega CD games and got Power Factory. I see a Flashback. I remember liking that one quite a bit. And a lot of people didn't care for Jurassic Park. I really like Jurassic Park. It's a little educational as well. I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> oh, and you have the imports too. Mega CD. That's super awesome. Oh, a couple of... Get out of here. 
a couple of turbo. Oh, Noriko. This one might be the first ever CD game ever made or something like that. Gotta look, gotta do the research on that, but look up Noriko. And then there's another kind of something similar that has a plastic on it so you can't quite see, but it's a little idle style game. And more with the disc games, not just Sega Saturn, not just Dreamcast, but 3DO, CDI. Oh my goodness, this place has everything. <laughs> and more Dreamcast as well. And then down here too, a bunch of NES that goes all the way over there. And I love the fact that they sell not just the dust sleeves, but the little foam dollar each. I mean, I have some CIB games that don't have that styrofoam thing. Something like that would be perfect. So something like Dash Galaxy and Alien Asylum. Uh, there's no price on this one. Some of them have prices, some of them don't. So I bet they look them up at the register. I wouldn't imagine a game like this would be, would be, um, you know, much. So a game like Castle Quest. Eh, almost no price. Well, like Monster Party? No, no price on Monster Party. Oh, there's a price. No, it's just a sticker. It's a pretty uncommon game. Monster Truck Rally. Some we don't quite see often. Eh, probably the more common 64 games here. I see Bugs Life. I see Extreme G. You know, things like Pod Racer. That's a must have for the 64. I see this over here. Got a Nomad. Got some TurboGrafx 16 games. A few more Game Gear games down there, including Mega Man. Got some Lynx games. <laughs> Got out the Lynx games too. A few Game Gears. Some more loose. Game Gear games. Now that's cool, because they have, yeah, just a ton of box games there. Do you see anything? If you see something, call it out. I see some Neo Geo there. Not every store has Neo Geo stuff. This one does. Whole bunch of boxed NES. So cool to see. So fun to see. Game is Batman. It's a, it's a two person job here where it's teamwork. It's a nightmare. It's a <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's good news for me. These are great games. They're, they're great games and great deals. Uh, what else is going to grab? Um, let's go ahead and do Akari 3. It's about um, 1, 2, 3, 4, five. It's It's down the... Oh, it's... Yep, I think you got it right there. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at me go. Dude. I feel like I've done this before. Yeah. You're laughing about Princess Tomato in the South Kingdom. It's my most memorable game ever. No, Come on now. People laugh at me as I do Street Fighter 2020. So, 20 Cent is great. I, I love Street Fighter 20 Cent. Like, oh, like, it's a fun, I mean, it's not Street Fighter. It's a fun game, though. It's fine. Oh, it's, it's Capcom. It's the original Ken. Right? That's it. Right. Old school Ken. Or futuristic Ken. Something like that. I also that. own like 22 copies and hope that one day. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're going to go rare because you own them all. That's how you're doing it. Okay. I see how you go. Okay. The scooter, scooter Nintendo 64. <laughs> Stop. The Razor Scooter. I think it was the Razor game, yeah. Um, the owner here bought like 100 copies or something. Right really cheap and over the years because it's coming up it's coming up nobody knows if, if anybody could predict these things man listen yeah yeah it's never it's never anyone else's fault this is, ask the person who's spending that much money on a game that was five bucks a year ago <laughs> not bad oh i just peeked down here too you got a sculptor's cut right behind your shoulder i just found a full stack of turbographic 16 stuff too yes oh no it goes deeper oh i know I, I believe it i believe dave it. i figured what a better place to show off my pickups then at Zorn's World Famous Chicken, you wouldn't shut up about this place as soon as I no. landed. Best fried chicken in, on the East Coast. I haven't, even, I haven't even tried the fried chicken yet, but I tried the, the mac and cheese, is phenomenal. <laughs> so good. I mean, look, look, at the, look at that crust. <laughs> I even got the warm apples. It's basically apple pie without the thing. So I just now noticed too that the bag they gave me is an old Radio Shack bag. That's how, that's how retro they are. Because I have the pocket with the adapter, first thing I picked up was a tailspin for the Game Gear. I saw it on the list and I was like, well, haven't checked it out yet, I'm sure it's good. Call it out in the video, had to grab it. Jeremiah with the Famicom adapter. You open this guy up, inside there's a the adapter to play that plays the uh, the Japanese game to the US system, so always cool to find these. And only 25 bucks too, so happy about that. I have a friend of mine who's looking for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so I bought it for them. I had one and two, I didn't have three. Got a Kari 3, The Rescue. It's actually not a bad game, should check it out sometime. Well, I found him, Mario's missing. There he is, he's right here. He's in Long Island. <laughs> Again, it was just one of those, I, I, I don't see it come out very, very often, so I thought I'd grab it. They concerned, they warned me about the condition on there, as well as the label, but it was a great deal for, a great deal for Batman Revenge of the Joker. Um, it's super awesome, can I say? You like the Batman games. Yes, yeah, I, lo I love You don't have this one yet, so. No, not yet, not All yet. Right. Uh, look for it at the show. Oh, there we go, good idea. 
And this one I've never seen before. This is something I've never seen. It was funny because, again, they don't have prices on these games. So I brought them up there. It's like, well, how much is this going for? And they look it up and they give you a good deal. I mean, I know it always concerns me when I don't see prices on NES games. Uh, but they were doing like less than eBay, which I love. So that's fine. Um, but I found this with the commons. And it is an uncommon game. And it's not necessarily rare. It's just a game that no one's ever heard of. It's a game that's like, that's a real game. Yeah, Monster Truck Rally. And um, but they have it for thirty, so I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'll grab it for thirty. It's just, uh, and they were like, confused because they're like, the better games are usually behind the glass case, and these were out with like right next to the TNC surf designs and all that. And they're like, where did you find this game? <laughs> like someone else was supposed to put it out there. I was like, yeah, that's why. That's why I brought it to you. Gonna ask. So um, very cool. And all those games combined, I feel like Captain Pla uh, Planet. All of those games combined um, came to I don't know, just, just, just over two hundred. I'm happy about that. Time to eat some chicken. How's the chicken? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing.